my name is Natilio Rigotti. Uh, I am the projection and video designer for the show. And I guess in a way, the uh, AI prompter for the video uh, artificial intelligence we are using. There's two processes for the vi visuals you see in the show, right? The first is a more traditional projection design process where we either source content, create content, uh, Frankenstein content together, right? Or take some uh, source material and use it in a classic projection design format to either add texture, content, dilate the moment, etc. The other sort of uh, exciting way we're using this is really uh, is in conversation with some of the AI, visual AI generating softwares. Although we dabble in a number of different ones, we're really focusing on one called DALI. And what it does is really it's a text to, to visual uh, generator. So you prompt it with a uh, sentence, a text or something, and it generates an uh, image in response. Let me like literally pull all, I'm gonna like go through. I think this was like a Renaissance painting of a winged fox shooting lasers out of his eyes and surrounded by light. And I was like, okay. I think this is Elvis riding a fox with a monkey on his shoulder. A winner. Like singing loaves of bread, you know, sinister machines, you know what I mean? But sometimes you just get stuff that you're like, those eyes are too creepy, those mouths are merged in weird ways. And so I play a little bit of a prompter with the software, which is I push it in different directions. Like usually using modifying words like uh, in the style of or surrealist of, mysterious. It loves adjectives, but it doesn't quite understand this. So it always does weird things with adjectives, right? And once we sort of nailed sort of these themes, this motifs, these styles, I sort of push it further and further. There's an interesting part of AI work right now, which is controversial, and I don't haven't quite decided where I am on, on sort of that spectrum, right? But which is people call themselves prompters now, which is that they believe that the prompting of the AI software is a creative process, right? And it is part of like how you, you, you where the human being comes into it, right? This idea of the creative prompter is interesting because I think in many ways, even as the most abstract artists are prompters, right? Of prompting sensations, prompting moments, prompting journeys, experiences, uh, approaches, stances, etc. Right? I think really though the conversation becomes really juicy, and where I have all my qualms is really how these models are trained. The way the sort of models work, right? That it's it's it, they're called learning models, right? Which is or large learning models, which is they basically get inputted a lot of information or raw material or a big archive, and they sort of create these. Uh, averages, approximations, uh, large sort of swaths of what they think you mean from this database, right? And what the mean is between those to generate a, a, an answer to something. But the learning model is a good word because what it's doing is trying to learn, right? But to learn it, you have to feed it things into it. And that's where the ethics is really complicated in my opinion, because it's, did I, who, what is being fed, one, who chooses what is being fed? And then if things are being fed, do people authorize that to be fed? Uh, now is art training? Is art more than just training? That's a big debate that has been going on forever, right? I think ever anytime we revolve around these sort of new technologies and new approaches, right? But I think what's happening is that we've had to confront that because it's now so fast and so high level. I love trying to explain the show to people because they go, no, no, you're not. It's like, no, no, we are. It's like, no, 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 but you edit it, right? It's like, no, we're not. Put on stage our grappling with the software. And so I think, if anything, it is a true experiment. It's not like, let us experiment and then show you the good results or the bad results. It is, let us show you the experiment and come experiment with us. And I think that is remarkable to see on stage and to commit to on stage. Yeah, I would love I, I would love everybody to come see the show. Come see the Civilian's Artificial Flavors. Uh, it's at 59 East 59, running until November 19. We are open. We are thriving. We are grappling with ChatGPT, uh, grabbing it by its virtual horns and trying to get in different directions. Uh, and if you're lucky, uh, I will be there mixing live so you can welcome to come up to the booth afterwards and be like, what happened back there? And I'll be like, let me tell you, let me see, let me show you all the stuff, all the stuff we made that never made it in.